Uh, and Paul, I know that you you give the warnings out there too. It's so hard to you know to kind of watch your back on that one. Yeah, those beach hazard statements are meant to warn people of yeah. the danger uh, presented by the sneaker waves and the rip tides. But it's just a call for the surfers to get out there and try to take advantage of the high surf. It's not going to be as high tomorrow. Let's take a look at the forecast for Pacific. If you're going to be heading out to Lindemar Beach, three to four foot swells as opposed to those higher ones we had today. The winds are going to be light out of the north and northwest. The water temperature is 54 degrees. The air temperature is only going to be a few degrees warmer than that. The big swells today, courtesy of a storm system way out in the Pacific, we're still under the influence of big area of high pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. But even while that is in place, the swells kicked up by these storms farther out in the ocean still make their way towards land. There's going to be another one arriving on Wednesday. While the overall weather pattern isn't going to shift a whole lot for us as we head through most of this week, there are some signs of change on the horizon. A little bit of a pattern change in the upper levels of the atmosphere by late this week as a storm system is going to be somewhere off the Pacific coast. The forecast models are kind of all over the place in terms of where exactly this is going to be and therefore its effect on our weather. So we're at least going to see some more cloud cover through the weekend into early next week, maybe even a chance for a couple of showers. We'll check out our day-by-day -day rain chances coming up at 530. In the short term, we're going to have the offshore winds kicking in tomorrow. They're not going to be as strong as what we had Friday and Saturday last week. They're not going to be a factor as we head through tonight into the early morning hours on Tuesday, but those winds will be noticeable, especially for the North Bay by tomorrow afternoon. But the strongest gusts are going to be in the 20 to 25 mile an hour range, as opposed to the 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts that we had Friday and Saturday. And the winds are going to relax once the sun goes down tomorrow evening. Hopefully the stronger winds are going to help to improve our air quality. Most of us were in the moderate category today. A lot of yellow dots on the map, that brown smudge of haze on the horizon. If it does stir around the atmosphere, I don't think our air quality is going to improve dramatically as we head through the next several days. Even a short-term improvement tomorrow is going to be temporary. The wind is also going to disperse plenty of pollen back into the medium-high category for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's still alder and juniper as the top two types of pollen in the atmosphere. So if you are sensitive to those, you're likely going to be sniffling and sneezing a little bit throughout much of this week. Looking outside right now from the Mark Hopkins Hotel at a pretty sunset, a little bit of fog on the horizon. Temperatures are in the 50s across the board. Anywhere from 53 downtown to 59 degrees right now in Concord and Santa Rosa. We are going to see that fog spreading out, especially inside the bay. Shows up as the brighter white on future cast. It'll take its time dissipating, but I think by noon tomorrow that fog should be gone entirely. And then we're just going to see plenty of sunshine for the rest of the day. With temperatures warming up after a cool, even chilly start. Most of us in the low to mid 40s, but there are going to be a few spots dipping down into the upper 30s by early Tuesday morning. And then high temperatures, once the fog dissipates, we're only going to be a degree or two above average around the bay. But with the offshore winds kicking in, four or five degrees above average farther inland. Zoom in for a closer look. Along the coast, upper 50s for highs. That's not bad for late January. January, right around 60 degrees around the south end of the bay, but farther into the 60s, mid 60s for San Jose and most of the Santa Clara Valley. Mostly low 60s inland in the East Bay. Temperatures around the bay, a mix of upper 50s and low 60s, right around 60 degrees. With the North Bay warming up, that offshore wind helps your temperatures jump up into the upper half of the 60s in a lot of locations. Same thing for inland Mendocino County and Lake County. Temperatures don't change much over the next several days. We'll see plenty of sunshine after the morning fog dissipates. Temperatures are going to dip slightly by Saturday Sunday and Monday as we see a little more cloud cover, but no rain icons in the entire seven-day forecast. Maybe farther down the line, we can talk about some rain chances returning to the Bay Area.